Start gluing. My favorite thing to do. Glue. I love gluing things. So I got this pommel gel uh, glue for the wings. I mean for the uh, for the for the what? What are we using? What's happened? I'm getting old now. For the foam. Da foam. I'm trying to find my uh, glue spreading. Chamcha or <laughs> spoon. Chamcha is my language. <laughs> Chamcha. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, man. All right. So the build for this plane is going to be very, very straightforward. I was thinking this is glueless assembly, but it is not. You need definitely you need glue and I need a lot of glue because I like to keep things really nice and stuck. So I'm gonna put the ESCs away and uh, start installing the easier parts that means uh, starting with the motors these are clockwise and counterclockwise motors and according to the lines given on uh, the wings you should be able to mount the motors in the right way and that means the propellers will be spinning clockwise and anti-clockwise so there's no way you're gonna mount it wrong or you're gonna miss it so the motor will glue here and the other motor will glue here okay and um, they should be perfect uh, they should have come out ooh my wing has some kind of dents here mm. anyways um, the good thing about this plane is that if you do not want two motors you can still set it up with one motor setup. So these are 2300 kV motors. If I'm going to 4S and long range flights, you can still go with a single 980 kV motor and you can spin 9 to, 8, 9 to 10 inch prop and get a lot of efficiency out of that setup. So for that, you will mount the motor right here. That will become your single motor setup, which is originally the plane was designed for with one motor. That was version one. Of this plane with one motor right here and like a you know uh, what was that sonic model plane uh, sky hunter it's just like that style so if you want to go with one motor that's also an option but you need to get a different kv motor i'm gonna go with two motors which they have supplied so let's start working shall we da, 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 da. let's start gluing my favorite thing to do glue i love gluing things I got this pommel gel uh, glue for the wings. I mean, for the uh, for the for the what? What are we using? What's happened? I'm getting old now. For the foam, da foam. I'm trying to find my uh, glue spreading chamcha or <laughs> spoon. Chamcha is my language. <laughs> chamcha. Uh, <laughs> that's funny man okay so I'm gonna spread the glue spread the glue nice and evenly and give it some time to you know this is a fast drying glue I will give it some time to dry out a little oops too much too much no problem I love too much glue as well this side and we're gonna go this side as well so let's not be miser with the glue let's uh, spread a good amount of glue because this glue I can buy really really cheap here on a local portal online portal man this this glue is dirt cheap so I'm gonna spread as much as I want like a butter on my honey and butter on my toasts okay so oops don't do that don't do that please stay here it's gonna be the first motor and I believe it's this motor belongs here okay 
and let's check the back side. All good. Let's use fingers to spread the remaining glue nice and tight. Push the motor all the way in. Make sure it's sitting on those lines provided as precise as possible. Remove the excess glue. Okay, so one motor is done. Now comes the second motor. Let's spread the glue again. There we are, and here comes the second motor. Let me make sure the linings are right and correct. Looking perfect. All right. So motors are done. I'll be installing the ESCs later. So the next step will be to glue the A tail. And this is going to be a kind of tricky part because it's not that good fix. However, you might want to notice that after you put the A tail like this, you have plenty of space to mount a camera here. Uh, which is a good option because I can mount my smaller cameras here and get some videos out. Now, how do I make sure to glue it properly that it doesn't move, right? Maybe like this. So let's give it a try. Just put the glue at both sides just to be safe, as I said. Let's spread the hell out of this. We need more glue because we want it to be stronger never come off ever ever again never 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 ever okay all right so let's glue these two parts together just like this and make sure the lining stays correct The glue I'm using is, is a quick dry kind of thing, so it dries very, very quick. Alright, that is that. Now, we need to install the spars. Those will, those will go all the way back to that tail. So, first we're going to install these. Now, question is how far they should go all the way to the corners or not? Which I'm going to do all the way, you know, to the leading edge right there. I believe the motors are glued properly. And now it's time for these. Okay, and we will have this on top, just like this. And then we will hold it for a while so that the glue can actually get stuck. Oh, my motor is coming off. I should hold it actually. And use our chamcha to the glue spreading chamcha, uh, the spoon. <laughs> I believe in my videos, such videos, I should speak some of my language uh, so uh, you can also learn something. Okay, and I'm gonna spread some glue here just to be sure that this thing will never ever 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 come off. Now I just want to double check that my spar is flush to the edges right there. Okay. And the glue is not pouring out. We're using a lot of glue and we don't want it to pour out because it will become some kind of uh, gooey bubbles after drying. Okay, can I put it? Can I put it this way somewhere? Let me see. Yes, I can put this one down on the floor. And it will. Get dry there. Ok, 
Okay, let's do the second one the same way. Spread the glue as much as we want, starting with the glue on top of the glass fiber spar. Once again, making sure it's flush to the edges. This time we were too generous with the glue, so uh, glue is pouring out from the sides. So I'm just gonna wipe it off with my finger. Now, one thing that we forgot is this. These little ones should go under here. Let me see if I can still fix them or not. So. Just cut this part here and this part here. Yeah, we can still put them in, no problems at all. These two little glass fiber bars will go in here in the wing. And I would like to glue the hell out of them as well because. You don't want them to pop out during flight. So, let's do it. How do we do it? I have no idea. Um, do I glue this or glue this? Um, kind of tricky. So, I'm just gonna glue this one. Looking good. Before it dries out, let's put it in. Oop. Our main spar is coming off. We don't want that to happen, so gotta be careful. And let's dig this one in all the way. Making sure it stays there. All the way in. Feel the force, it's nice and sticky right there. And now let's dig it in without actually having to bother our main spar. Uh, this one will go in the middle here. I believe I don't have to glue it. Or let's just glue it. Um, this kind of uh, configuration is basically you don't want to take the wings off often because it's really pain in the whatever to get these things out and you know every time take the wing off and then put it back on it is really a pain to do that now before we put the other one in, I need to spread a little glue on these. But that was uh, not little. I love doing this lot of glue job. Okay, now it's a tricky part because um, we're gonna glue this part as well a little bit. And the glue will spread itself. And we have to make sure to align everything. Oh, servo cable, watch for it. There we go. Two wings joined perfectly. So far, so good. So far so good. Now, this wing is basically permanent. It's not gonna come off. Uh, that was my purpose. I really don't want this wing to come off because as I mentioned, mm -mm, you don't want this wing to come off. The lining is a bit off, but hey, what would you expect from this? Okay, now how do we run these cables? Oh, we have to run these cables from inside here. So I was actually right about keeping those uh, edges flush to the edges, okay? So, 
Um, this is going to be this way. And to do so, I need to glue this hmm. until here. Okay. So let's just glue it. Two. Now it should actually go in properly before it dries out. Flushed all the way and flushed all the way. And let's check. Nothing is good here. Uh, we are still flushed to edges. Now, um, before we continue, I gotta check if my A tail is actually uh, horizontal or not. So I'm just gonna put it here, and I can see one side is up. So I have to make sure both sides actually go down. Yes. You have to make sure that this actually is horizontal. If this is a little bit left and right, you're going to have trouble during flight. So, um, like that. This side is touched. This side is not touched. Okay, let me see. Now, glue is not dried, so I can still do it. Okay, so far looks good. Press here a bit. And let's just wait and let it dry out. Now, everything is done. All we need to do is just add the fuselage under the wing. Okay. Hey, if the fuselage was up here, it will look even more awesome. Check this out. And maybe it will even fly better, like if the fuselage was here. Anyway. All right. This is dry enough. Let's check out how the plan looks like. So this is going to install right here. And it should seat properly in just like that. Voila! Your Skyhawk is ready. And all we need to do is use the screws and screw the wing up. Next, installing the ESCs, receiver, uh, turning the motors right, set up with the receiver and fly it without any autopilot. And after we have flown it once, then, and after we have flown it once, then we will fly it with OFM AP1 light and go for some FPV. People, the plane is ready, my battery connector is here, everything is done. Now I just need to install my receiver, and this is done. So, here goes nothing, either a crash or good flight. Shall we fly it? Oh, wow, that is like super thrust, it just went out of my hand almost, right? Wow. 
I have to keep like 15% throttle only. Man, that is like, I mean, check it out on my radio. Look at my throttle. It's cruising. That is 4S right there. The amount of control this plane has, the agility, is simply awesome, man. Look at that vertical climb. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy, just hit it! Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.